How's it going? How's it going? Crunk Nation Motivation. Crunk back one more once again. Alright. Hey, for this video, what you're going to go ahead and need is you're going to need your band. I don't know what band you guys are using. Light, heavy, medium, whatever you guys got. Go ahead and pull it out, and that's what you're going to need today. And of course, your fist. Alright, because that's what I do. Crush excuses. We don't need heavy weights or, or anything like that to to shape up or, or to get toned or nothing, you know? All we, all we need is our will and our effort. But let's, let's go ahead and, and get to work. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys another chapter of my book, all right? Let's get started let's start with some R circles. Let's get started with some R circles, let's go. Okay, uh, the chapter that I'm gonna tell you guys about, it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be about the autobiography that I wrote that's called, it's called Coma uh, Experiences. And, and at that point, um, I have I have family members that told me, you know, what was going on at that point, what doctors were saying, what what they were telling my other family members, you know, what they were uh, kind of saying about my about my well-being, about my uh, health, about everything, and everything was just negative. You know, they were telling my family members like. He's not waking up. He hasn't responded. He hasn't done no movements. He uh, he hasn't even opened his eyes. You know, what do you guys want to do with him? Uh, if anything, he's probably just gonna be a vegetable. You guys should just unplug him because we don't think he's coming back. You know, he, he on the side of that, on the, on the side of all that, that negative. He uh, he only got 19% brain activity. That's the lowest we've ever seen. And they're like, um, he, uh, you know, his, his, they say his kidneys are failing, his liver is failing, his, his lungs are punctured, his ribs are, you know, are broken. I'm talking about all my organs were jacked up. And, and that's what, that's what I'm saying, that these doctors, you know, they were, they were not expecting no positive to come from me. And at the end, it's like, they had their, uh, they had their answer that was, he's gone, you know, he's gone, he, he's, he's not going to come back. But then on the other side, it was God. And, and what God did was gave me another opportunity, proved the doctors wrong, that they're not, about right, right, they're, they're not right about everything, that he's the one that has the last word, no matter what. And regardless, God is the one that has the last word, because that's why I always say that you know doctors only know as far as science lets them. That's everything that doctors know. But no matter what, the one that always has the last word is God, and that's because He checks on people's will, He checks on their faith, He checks how bad they want it, He checks how their belief, how much they believe in Him. You know, He checks all that. So when He actually notices, okay, they really want it. And and they're praying to me and, and they're you know they're asking for it bad. I'm gonna give it to them, you know, because it's gonna be like I could tell that I could tell that they actually do really want it because they're praying for it and they're actually working towards it, you know. And the reason I I say that is because I'm speaking from experience. You guys been seeing my my journey on the cane. I'm almost on the cane on cane mode once I get on there. Once I get on there. You can't stop me no more. I'm just gonna be progressing, progressing, progressing until I'm walking again. And then once I'm walking, I'll, I'll guarantee you that all the hard work that I put in to get to that point is gonna be worth it. But uh, but yeah, my bad about getting distracted. But like I was saying, uh, yeah, so at that point, my family was just like, man, well, damn, it sucks that everything's going bad. And they're just like, man, uh, doctors keep giving us bad news. And those nurses that, that would come in, they would, those nurses that would come in, and they would be telling my mom, oh, uh, you want to hear about your family member? Uh, we, we, we're, you know, we're, our job is to tell you. And she's just like, no, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear about my family member. She's like, I don't want to hear no negativity right now. She's all like, uh, I know that everybody's wrong. I have faith and they know he's gonna be okay and at that point nurses were just like oh uh, well are you sure and she was like yeah and she my mom will call and she'll tell doctors 
get this lady out of my room. She's like, I don't want no, no negative people and no, uh, no people here that, that, that are negative that, you know, that are gonna kind of put down, uh, or bring the negativity into the room. So at that point, um, you know, my mom always remained faithful. She always had faith that I was gonna come back. Uh, she was the one that, that her faith pretty much remained as strong as that of everybody, you know? But, but it shows what it did because I'm here. But, uh, yeah, but then, um, yeah, like I said, I, be, I overcame all the odds, you know? Doctors were saying everything they said right now, the, the last, te the last, uh, doctor appointment that I went to, that was a physical checkup, everything came out great. You know, and what he said, and I quote, this is what came out of his mouth. He said, wow, you are like a one in a million type of people that have these results. These are the type of results that I would want everybody to have. And he said, uh, he said, yeah, keep up, keep it up and keep doing what you're doing because these results are great. They're really good. And, and that sounds like, okay, well, it sounds good, you know. And that's something like whoever follows my videos and whoever does what I do, they're they're, they're probably gonna lead to you know to getting healthier and, and getting in, uh, getting in the same mode that I am you know, uh, getting uh, healthy, getting fit, getting toned, and getting better in life you know, and that's the main thing that you want in life. You, know, you wanna uh, put in the work and go hard, so you could always finish on top. And, and win that life, no matter with whatever whatever gets thrown at you, you know. Now I know you guys love these, so let's go, let's go, let's get that working, and let's finish strong. I already gave you guys your reward. I gave it to you, so you guys gotta give me your hard work now. All right, come on, keep up with me. Do not give up. Do not give up. Do not give up. Never give up. Never back down. Come on. Let's go, let's go, roll over, roll over, roll over, roll over. Like my nephew would say, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and, you know? Like, come on, let's go, speed up, speed up, come on. Go the fastest you can. 10, Mississippi. 9, Mississippi. 8, Mississippi. 7, Mississippi. 6, Mississippi. 5, Mississippi. 4, Mississippi. Three Mississippi, two Mississippi, one Mississippi, zero Mississippi. All right, ah, and that's it. Good job. You know, it's probably good. Hundred plus calories, you know, but it's not bad. And you, you get to learn more about me, about more about my situation that I've been through, about my journey of, of what's been going on, and yeah, keep up with the videos. You know, I'll keep giving you guys testimonies and giving giving you guys more uh, more of my journey you know but Krug Nation Motivation now thanks you guys already know also like I would say TikTok Instagram Facebook Snapchat you name it Krug Nation Motivation is there except for Twitter I ain't got no Twitter but anything else look me up I'm there YouTube you already know crush excuses by any means stay active destroy dwelling Crunk Nation Motivation out.